Hi students, today we will do the riveting. So we have to draw at least two vivas of a single riveted lap joint of 16mm thick plate and we have to show at least three rivets in the top view. So thickness is 16mm given. So for, with the help of thickness we can find out the other parameters. So we have the unwin form formula which is D is equal to 6 under root T and this T is the thickness of the plate. So this D is die of the rivet. So by substituting the D we can find out the other values that's margin. Margin is 1.5 D so we calculate the value 36 pitch is 3d and we get it 72 dia of the snap head is 1.6d so substituting we get round up figure that is 39 mm and center of the snap head is d by 8 and it comes out 3 mm so we have to draw its two waves let's start with the sectional front view so we'll start drawing so first of all we'll draw the sectional front view so we'll start with the plates we have to draw two plates they overlap with each other so the thickness of the plate is given which is 16 mm. So after drawing the two plates which are overlapped to each other we have to give the angle of calculus at the edges, two edges of the plates that angle of calculus is 10 degrees. Then we can join these two points with a dark line. So from this we can measure the margin which was 36 mm which we have calculated above. So there we can give the central line of the rivet. So this is the central axis of the rivet. So it should be dotted. And from this central axis we can again mark the margin of 36 mm to the plate which is beneath of the top plate and first we have to draw a straight line then we can keep it protected there and mark the 10 de degrees angle which is the angle of calculus and again join the two points with the help of a scale and darken the line now we need to darken the lines already constructed lines and keeping the scale at the middle of the rivet we can on the each end we can mark the 12 mm and from the top we can find out the center of the rivet head which is 3 mm which we have calculated below on the upper end and above at the lower end now we can keep the compass which is the snap head we have to draw and the rivet snap head is 19 mm we have to draw the 19.5 mm sorry so we have to draw the snap head keeping the compass at the center which was 3 mm below and 3 mm up so after drawing the snap head we can bring this central line 
And now anywhere, draw a horizontal dotted line to show the first rivet. So there we can show the rivet head and the top view by drawing the dark circle. And similarly we can draw the another one at a distance of 72 mm which is the pitch which is the distance from center of the one rivet to the center of the another and there also we can draw a snap head now with the same dimensions now we have to show the a rivet dia which is beneath the snap head and we have to represent the rivet dia with a dotted circle and its radius was 12 mm we have to open up a compass of 12 mm and draw a dotted circle by using the same center which we have used for drawing the snap head Now to show the top plates we will produce the line in the top view from the front sectional front view. It should be a darker. So we'll take it up in the top view and same goes to the another one, a dark line. The, these two lines are because of the angle of calculus now the other end can be shown by drawing a line anywhere without any measurements so we are drawing top view by taking the uppermost plate of the lap joint So by drawing this line, so one plate is completed and the top view. Now same will be repeated for the bottommost plate. We need to draw, produce this line up with the soldered line. And this line needs to be drawn, dotted can draw this line dotted and now these are the two lines which needs to be completely drawn as dotted because they are under the top plate which these lines cannot be seen that's the reason we draw them as dotted lines so now goes the another one as a dotted line and now we can bring it to the other side to show the other edge yes joining with its own plate with a dark line so we need to rub the extra lines students we should minimize the use of eraser while drawing the drawing now we have to show the long cuts on the longer edge we can show at least two long cuts long breaks so it indicates the continuity of the sheet so th this way we have completed the long cuts and the cuts 
now we can give the dimensions for the pitch so better to show it outside because i was not having the space outside so i'm giving inside so better to give it outside so pitch which was 72 mm so we have to represent the arrowheads also 72 mm the pitch now the next this way it's complete the next we can show these are the dotted lines as i have already explained what it means and these dots line means hidden rivet dia now we can show the sectional wave so this is the rivet which we have cut in the front wave so we can show it with the arrows so this is a sectional rivet which we have cut and it can be seen in the front view we have to make this line dotted but darker so in front view we can show the hatching it should be done at 45 degrees on both of its plates but opposite in case of in first plate we can give it one direction and in second plate we can give it an opposite direction